Today we're going to do a nitro oil change kit from Yamaha, Yamalu products, full synthetic. On the back of this kit, here's the kit number for the nitro. On the back of this box, you will see that there is information on how much oil it needs to go in it and everything is provided inside of the box. I'll come back to the box and open up the box to let you see what's inside from Yamalube. Uh, we have a nitro on the stand currently. Uh, we have it prepped with the lower panels, belly pan removed. Uh, most of it's attached with push pins. Uh, you take the hood off basically, take each side panel off, and then get your wrenches and parts that you need set up so you're prepared to make it easy okay inside the box we have four quarts of zero w40 for performance full synthetic yamalu provides you with a small paper funnel and then inside you would have the oil filter and inside the filter box you will have the copper washers for the drain plug replacement and the five dm filter i purchased myself a filter wrench because i do a lot of these which fits nicely over the top of the filter and then you can Use a ratcheting wrench. And 17 millimeter fits right over the top. Next thing we're gonna do is I got my oil pan ready. We are going to pull the drain plug on the oil tank. First time oil change, it's usually good to pull this uh, filter strainer in the bottom of the tank look for metal particles uh, from the build of the snowmobile then we will go underneath and pull the drain plug which has a copper washer on it and it's located about there then you have the filter which is located here and the filter wrench will slide right on I will show you how the filter wrench basically slides right on and you can spin off the filter at that point. Um, I'm going to get the oil started draining and then I'll come right back and show you at what point and each stage I'm at. I'm going to use a 12 millimeter wrench. I use a ratcheting wrench and we'll pop off the drain plug here and we'll get this tank started to drain and you can see the copper washer that will be replaced and is provided for you in the kit we're going to take my needle nose pliers grab onto this clamp here slide that back to pull the strainer now we also need to use a five millimeter Allen to remove these two screws here. As you can see, I took out the five millimeter Allen bolts and pushed the clamp back. And then you, what you do is you kind of turn it and push on the side of the hose and it'll pop out. And you can see here, it's a, it's a pretty messy job. And if you look here on the screen, this is basically a residue that can be found from when the engine was built. You can also find uh, contaminants that you know could have been left in there when the engine was put together. Uh, it's always good to do it in the first 500 mile oil change. And you could do it periodically just to kind of keep an eye on things. Um, 
So we'll clean that with some contact cleaner and set it on the side. Now be aware there's an O-ring that goes on that that um, that I think is still on the machine here. Yep, it's up on the side here. So, you know, be, be aware of that. Here's the Amalu product that we're going to use to clean the filter screen. It is brake and contact cleaner. So the screen is clean. We're going to put it up inside. O-ring is inside there. It's sitting in there real nice. You just push the screen up. And then you spin it. And you can see on this side here. You can see how it's going to go back inside the pipe. And it'll just kind of pop right in. Just like that. Let me take the screws. Get those up in there. All right. Let's thread those up in. And give these a quick spin in here. out the oil wipe her down good and then we'll get a little, little quarter turn there's an o-ring on her so they don't have to be really super super tight and then here we'll take the needle nose and we'll grab the clamp and pull the clamp back on. Okay, we got the filter, the pre-filter back in there. Clamp tight, bolts tight. We're gonna put in the drain plug with the new washer. It came in the kit. And we will use our 12 millimeter and just snug it up. So the drain plug is the first one facing the machine on the far right. It actually sticks out a little further than the others and it has a copper washer on it. So we're gonna take that out. And she will start coming out here in a second. Got her grip ready. And you'll see here, this is a copper washer that will be in the kit and we'll replace that. In this particular, in this particular snowmobile, uh, somebody had bought an aftermarket filter, which is a different size. There's actually two filter wrenches. The normal standard filter wrench for the nitro and the one that you would normally use on an Apex. So we're gonna pull this filter off. And it works really slick because so you can back her off. And allow it to pee right out of there. And oh, that's not good. There we go. Here she comes. And there we have it. Okay, we put on the new copper washer. And we are going to get that up in there. And then we'll give that a little... Give it a little bit. Let's give her a little bit. The copper washer will set. You don't need to crank the crap out of it. 
Otherwise, it'll be tough to get off next time. All right. Wipe off the surfaces where the oil filter is going to sit. Make sure that's clean. Take the filter. And this you'll need a Yamaha filter wrench. It's a little different than the, the Apex wrench. A little bit bigger. As you can see here. And we'll spin this on. If it cooperates, and we'll spin that on. Get it about hand tight. Usually hand tight is good enough, but I like to pop the filter wrench on and give it just another quarter to half turn just to make sure we're snug on there because I've had them slightly leak when they were hand tight. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show you. There's a little trick to opening these bottles. I know it's kind of crazy, but <clears throat> so what I do is I, if you rub on this, you'll get the edge of it to pop up. Of course, it's not going to cooperate with me at the moment, but see on this side, if you rub it, <clears throat> it'll get that to pop up. <clears throat> and then you can pull this off. Okay, Yamalu provides this nice little paper filter. Uh, not filter, funnel. <laughs> it's a cute little thing. What we'll do is pop off the sending unit connection, and here's your dipstick. <clears throat> Spin that off. Wipe that thing down good. And what we'll do is, as you can see on the back of the box, again, we are working on FX Nitro, a 14, which would be right in this area here. 3.38 US quarts, which usually takes about three and a half quarts. Show you quickly this little funnel trick. And then we're gonna put three quarts in. And then after we get all three quarts in, we'll turn the machine on for a few, few minutes, let the oil filter fill up, and then we'll top it off at that point. Okay, we put three quarts in. We will drop the dipstick in. And then uh, you can plug the sending unit in if you like. You don't have to. You'll just throw a code. Then we're going to fire it up for a minute. All right. We just ran it for a few minutes to fill the oil filter. Pull the sending unit off. To check this oil level, like I said, we have three quarts in. We're going to bring it up and wipe it off. And then you set it right back in and just touch the threads. And that's how you check your level. And we're right just above the L right there. So we're going to put in the other half a quart. So this unit took a little bit more than three and a half quarts. We were down to about that right there on the last quart. Kind of clean that off. Drop it in, pull it back out, and you can see we're right about there. So we're good. If you want to bring it to the line, you can, but you're right in Yamaha spec. Okay, so the oil change is complete. We're going to clean up a little spot here with some contact cleaner. I usually put it right by the battery. They give you this nice Yama Lube decal. 
uh, so you remember what date and oil change you did. And you got to be careful with greasy hands, but we'll put that right here. Like to put it here because if you put it on the oil tank, it seems from the heat that it wrecks the decal to remind you. So there you go. All right, we're going to put the nitro back together. Remember to put the center skid plate in first. With your push pins. Of course, we have an alignment. One back, one in. On each side. And then I'll finish that out. Okay, we're going to put the belt side back on. Make sure you get it into the proper notches. And to assist yourself, I usually put a push pin in on here to hold it up. And then we'll put a push pin on here. And then I will finish her up. Okay, now we're going to put on the uh, brake side, lower panel, and again, I make sure that it's hooked on there good. And I'll put a couple push, push pins in to hold it just like I did on the clutch side. Okay, we have the upper side panels on each side. We're putting the hood on to rem always remember to hook it under the front, but also up on the gauge, you can see there's a couple tabs. Those need to go under the gauge pod to lock it in. 